Okay, so here's a, a little video that I wanted to put up um, and the title is what the white pawn shouldn't be able to do. So the, the code that I'm going to use for this is the exact same code that's up on your Moodle page. Um, we've, <coughs> we've went through it in class a little bit. We've looked at it in the lab and by now most of you guys should be very familiar with this code and um, if you follow the workbook you should be easily able to get all of the pieces moving without a problem. But here we have in the code if the piece name is equal to a white pawn we do something so it's either at the start position or the piece has moved and we're catering down here for when the pawn has already um, moved from its original position. So to visually look at the pawn what I want to be able to do is to just let any other piece move just so I can do a little, some little tests with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if piece name dot equals uh, we say black queen and I'm just going to say if that is move is equal to true. So in other words <coughs> if a black queen is being moved um, I'm just going to make sure that it can move wherever we want it to move. I'm going to save that and once I save it I come out to my terminal here and I run the java c command which compiles the java file. So java c and then the name of the java file here is chestproject.java. When I recompile it, it it generates the class file and I should be able to to run it and java space chess project and now when I run it now I get my my little GUI up here and I can see the GUI and every time I touch a piece over in the terminal here I can see that the piece that is being moved is a white pawn it gives me the starting position so the starting coordinates are 3 1 the x movement is 0 and the y movement is 0 and the landing coordinates are 3 1 because I didn't actually move it now these this uh, very simple output is from a snippet code that's up on your Moodle page to be able to help you. So no matter what piece you click on, it, it shows up. If you don't click on a piece, so for example, if I go here and go click, um, nothing comes up because I'm not touching on a label. So <coughs> to go through some of the little um, snippets that you guys have to have to fix, and we can see here on our first move, we shouldn't be able to move the pawn three squares, which we can't. We can move the pawn either one square, or we can move the pawn two squares. And then after moving it one square, we can't move it two squares anymore. Okay, so it's only two squares or one square on its first move. We can't take our own piece and we can't move diagonally. If I wanted to take the pawn down here where the mouse is, I shouldn't be able to, because the only pieces that I should be able to take have to be one square away in a diagonal. Now, if I try to take this piece down here, I can't take him because I've jumped way too far down the chessboard, and he jumps back. However, if I try to take from here after making my first move, I shouldn't be able to take this pawn but I can. So that's one of the first things that you need to be able to fix. Similarly here, I've already moved, I should be able to take this piece. Now, in chess, I should not be able to take that piece, and you need to be able to fix that. But, as you see here, the logic for stopping you doing that is already in the code solution that you have. Because just like the move we did, made, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be able to make this move, um, which it's coded in already. So if you need to fix and to stop this guy from taking after making its first move, you need to look at the other code um, for when the pawn is making its very first move. Now I said at the start that I was able to move the black uh, queen anywhere, so I can move him around. And like you can see there, I'm just able to take the pawns, I'm able to take my own pawn, he's able to do whatever he wants. And the reason is I want to be able to test some very simple pawn movements by putting a piece in front of him.
Now in chess, I shouldn't be able to take a piece directly in front because the pawn can only take if we move one square on either diagonal. The queen is directly in front, I shouldn't be able to take him. And that's coded in, which is great. However, the pawn should not be able to jump over the queen. And he can. So what's that what's actually happening here? Well in the code, the pawn, when you make when you move the pawn, he is checking when you move the pawn two squares, he is checking in the wrong place. So he's checking here where he should be checking up here. So you need to change the check to make sure that if I have a black piece or in front of a pawn that I cannot jump over the queen. The other issue that we have at the very start is that we've just allowed anyone really to make moves. So there's no, there's no white um, turn essentially. We can keep marching these pawns down. And as we march the pawns down, we can take pieces by moving along a diagonal. And if they get to the top of the board, or the bottom of the board, where the, where the black pieces start off, and we turn into a white queen. Okay, so just a very quick video, as I said, to show you some of the things that you should look out for when fixing your white pawn move.